Hey everybody, welcome to Captain Forever Remix. I'm not going to do a first impression on this, I'm actually going to jump right into some Let's Play. Uh, I have played it a little bit, uh, I've, you know, invested some time in it. I'm not exactly going into this super blind, but uh, for you guys, just because it's uh, only fair that you can see it from the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and off my save game, which I'm assuming that did it. Okay, let's go ahead. Ah, okay, so morning sis, wanna play a game? I'm busy. Watching Captain Forever, huh? That's all you do every Saturday. Fine, I'll play on one condition. I get to be the hero. Ah, deal. But now you've gotta stop me from messing up the solar system. Yuck. Last one to Pluto is a rotten egg. Hey, wait up. That's not the game right there, guys. This is the game. Okay, so it starts you out with a little tutorial area. This is our ship. We can zoom in, zoom out. We can strafe a little bit, which I haven't exactly got that mechanic over. And uh, WASDQE to move. Right click is what I use to shoot. We'll just blow three targets because it's really easy. Time to build a rad ship. Okay, so you've got all these kits over here on the left-hand side, and they start you with the basic kit. You have no money to start, but you earn that by destroying ships, and you can upgrade each kit. So we're just going to start here, and I love the effects here. The block just snaps right into place. It's very nice. Now, each of these blocks... Uh, See if we can do this without that rotating too much. That's a bulkhead. It's a level one bulkhead. It's got uh, two health and a mass of one. And mass does matter uh, as far as uh, how your ship moves. And also distribution matters as well. Because if I put both thrusters on that side and try to move forward, uh, as you can see, I tailspin pretty well. So the thrusters only work in the direction that they're pointing, basically, if that makes sense. So if I go forward, those will work. But if I try to go backwards, only my cabin thrusters work. As, and as well as strafing. Now, if I go ahead and put that there, I can strafe a lot better. That's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and jump to our first level. You advance to the next level by defeating an enemy of the same level. So we're on stage one. If we defeat a stage two enemy, we'll advance to the next stage. You froze the sun? Yeah, well, mom never lets us run the air conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and group those. And you destroy enemy ships by destroying the cabin. And to keep my ship balanced, I'm going to put this thruster in the middle. And it's really good, I'm going to avoid that guy for now. It's good on level 1 to, uh, well it's good on any level to kind of farm some of the smaller guys. Hey, hey, hey now. And they can destroy your ship and destroy your modules. Pretty annoying. There we go, well, we got a dinged up thruster out of it. When the thrusters take damage, they don't, uh, they don't necessarily work any worse. They're just that much closer to destruction. And uh, it's a really beautiful game. I, I love the, the backgrounds. I think we can maybe get some... Uh, yeah. I know you're coming for me. Ah, see. Jerk. Okay, for balance sake, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the middle there. It does cover up our cabin's laser, but that's not a big deal. And uh, we're going to get the friskies out of here. Kind of trying this... Uh, uh oh, well, I don't really want to fight you, buddy. I'm going to go find this level one guy. Might be able to get some uh, laser cannons off of him if I don't blow them up like I just did. That's awesome. I'm going to put some thrusters in the opposite direction so that I can back up if I need to. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You go along, you destroy. 
Jeez. Now I know from experience that those giant blocks are pretty tough, but they're really heavy too, so I'm not sure that I want to take them necessarily. I do want to take these cannons. And there we go. And yeah, we can do that. So I've only made it as far as maybe level seven, which is not, oh, let's not know. I do not want to get all up in his grill. At least not that side of it. If we can take out that laser and then take out his cabin, we can get all those tasty lasers for ourselves. Come on. Uh, we can get that tasty laser for ourselves. That's pretty nice, though. So, at the end of each level, you have a little bit of time in which to uh, configure your ship with the parts that are there. Let's give ourselves a little bit of strafing if we want it. Which is, seems kind of silly, but, you know, whatever. And there's really nothing else for us to do, so we'll go ahead and jump now. We'll go to the next stage. Stage 2, Mercury. Some other King Kevin did that. Yeah, right. I hear you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Prepare to get wrecked. Okay. Well, I don't really have any way to add that to my ship in a balanced way, and balance is important. Let's see how this guy's configured. Fairly poorly, actually. So I'm going to sneak in here, and I'm going to take your yellow laser. So the higher up the stage, the more power the lasers do. And I'm definitely going to add these bulkheads. I'm going to try to do it and get out of here before I get ambushed. Oh, here we go. Get out of here. Yeah! How you like me now? No! I'll just take that, thank you. Now I'm gonna get up on him. Alright, yes. We needed that minor victory there. Um, just to keep things balanced, let's throw those on. Uh, maybe this uh, this wall of lasers is, is the good way to go here. ship. Alright, buddy. Come on. Well, he didn't exactly leave me with anything, and now my ship's unbalanced, so that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, we got a little bit of time here. We can, um... How heavy is that? Massive one. Massive one. Okay, so our guns weigh the same. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see here. I guess throw that one on. 
Put that there. It does kind of cause me to lilt just a little bit. Throw that over. Put that there. Yeah, I guess that's going to work. And we'll go ahead and jump to the next level. So, really nicely done game. I know I've been kind of not saying a whole lot about it. Really into the action. Ugh, that's disgusting. Is that chewing gum? Doesn't look like any chewing gum I've seen. Uh, maybe. Basically looks like a snot-covered planet. So we're rolling with a whole bunch of stage one stuff, and we're on stage four. I really don't know how this is going to go. I don't anticipate it going well for us. Oh, this guy has got lasers kind of on every side. And I knew that would happen as soon as we opened fire. He's just going to lay into us. I know getting right up on him may not be the smartest tactic in the world, but that's how we're going to roll. Come on. I uh, need better strafing ability. And <laughs> we got one Unibooster. Ah, jeez. So we're kind of hurting right now, guys. Let's try to even this out a little bit. Uh, uh, ugh is about all I can really say to that. I, huh, that's a problem. I really want to keep, yeah, we're lilting. See, I could put this on, and it's going to spin me around faster in one direction, but it's keeping me straight, so yeah. All right, jumping to level five. We're actually doing pretty well for our first run. Earth. Cracked in half. Poor Earth. Whoa, you went too far this time. Just need some super glue. I don't think I've ever fixed anything with super glue, honestly. Uh, definitely some uh, lilting issues, but she turns really nicely now. Okay, I may have got a little overzealous there. Oh dear. You back off. I'm getting wrecked. Okay, alright. Just gonna grab this and we're gonna get out of here. So that didn't go well. Do we really need that? Uh, we turned pretty well with this. Okay, we're gonna try some mosquito strats here. Oh, mm -mm. not on that ship. Okay, I whip around way too much with this thruster. Oh, goodness. If we can just kind of get in there. Okay, that helped a little bit. May have actually given our ship just the slightest bit of stability. God, this guy though, he is way too tough for us to be taking on right now. It's, uh, it's not going to go well for us. And 
I don't know that it's going to go too well for this, for this guy either. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to grab that and this, and we're going to get the fudge out of here, Tony. Okay, all right. You only have that uh, laser on that one side? Is that uh, correct in understanding that? No, no, no. You, you don't need to get completely over here. Right, let's go. I'll help you out of here. Just consider this a friendly ish tow service because I'm going to turn around and completely take you out in a minute. I just don't want to destroy all those delicious boosters that you got, man. Don't make me do it. You made me do it, buddy. I don't appreciate that. Okay, let's see who's over here. Oh man, I feel like we have to take on that level 5. Maybe if we just kind of, you know, come at it from the side a little bit here. Oh, you're a jerk. No, don't do it. Don't you do it. Get right up on him. Eat my lasers. I should probably slap that thing on. Good thing I was holding on to that. Jerk. Yeah, so it's not going so hot for me on stage four. Oh, look at this, man. Why don't you... Follow me this way and get wrecked by that guy's laser son. Yeah. Oh, I'm doomed. So, that's Captain Forever Remix. That's episode one. Uh, we did unlock a kit, so let's go back to our uh, menu here. Alright, so we unlocked the sniper kit. And if you look at each of these kits, you can see it tells you what you need to do in order to unlock the next one. So uh, if we take our sniper kit and make it to stage, stage 3, which I think we could do, we can unlock the close range kit. So we might just do that. We might make a quick sniper run and I'm still not exactly sure of the best design maybe it's something like this I don't know um, you know if you go in kind of broadside of the barn then they've got a broadside of a barn in which to fire at which isn't exactly helpful for us maybe something a little more streamline might do the trick. So the sniper, uh, it's a, um, it's got good damage and a pretty long shot. You can see it goes much further. The cooldown's not so hot though. But uh, do we want to try? Be kind of bold. Let's see if we could just. Okay, we took that out. Now if we can just take out his cabin, maybe we can get ourselves, uh, you know, put those up there, these in the back, and we'll just kind of say that these are our uh, strafing thrusters, perhaps. Tell you what, let's do it like this. Now build time on some ships is something that you can upgrade. Um, that definitely needs to not be pointed like that. It needs to be pointed like that. 
Mm, you know, it's not so hot, but it's not terrible either. I think we can roll with this. I'm gonna go ahead and jump now. Alright, stage two. We just gotta make it to stage three and we can unlock that next kit. I don't know what my favorite kit is, honestly. Uh, they each have their perks. And really, it's just the way you start your ship, honestly. It doesn't mean that you're going to roll with Sniper the entire time. Take this guy out. The tricky part can definitely be the aiming, that's for sure. Oh, see, that guy's firing torpedoes. That's just... that hardly seems fair at all. Level 1, dude. How did you get a... Oh! How'd you get a torpedo, buddy? Well, it's ours now. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that from you. I don't think that you mind. Let's pop these on and get our butts out of here. Man, that level 3's got torpedoes. Not a fan. What, what just... He got me, didn't he? No! Alright, you know, I'm a little bit outmatched here. Why in the world am I lilting so hard? We're not doing so well, folks. As you can see, the uh, torpedoes are fairly powerful. Kind of wish I had another bulkhead. Wasn't one up here, was there? You're not that torpedo guy, are you? No, you're level four. Yeah, we can give you a shot. Not going well. Torpedoes are powerful, but I suck at aiming them. about ready to go mosquito strats here. Oh, you dirty dog. That's all right. Let's see if we can get in there, guys. Well, that doesn't really work, does it? Yeah, it makes me look up. Uh, Nice, I guess. Oh! No! We're not long for this world. No, we're not. No! We can just get it. Yeah, there it is thinking, man, if we could just get his cabin, uh, we'd be in good shape. We earned 12, 12 whole dollars. It's kind of sad. How are these kids rolling with this kind of cash? What kind of allowance are they getting? So... Well, that's kind of crummy. Things we can upgrade. Not really sure what we'd want to upgrade. Critical hit chance is good. Always gives a chance for more damage, which is awesome. 
I really want to unlock the close range kit because I feel like if we do a critical hit and maybe a stun chance, and that happens with each projectile, and these fire, uh, it's a triple laser, so you can imagine, you know, it's kind of like a shotgun blast, so more projectiles. I think next time that's probably how we're going to want to go. Um, as it stands for now, that's it. I think we're going to call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate uh, you coming and viewing this video. It's been a while since I've done any, probably about a month, but just kind of had some stuff going on. So um, doesn't necessarily mean that Terraria is going away. Uh, I'm just adding some variety to the channel. So we're going to do a little bit of Captain Forever Remix, a little bit of Terraria, um, and probably some other stuff down the pike. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button uh, and share it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you have, because it's always changing so rapidly. And who knows, maybe somebody out there likes the same kind of stuff you're into and will share it as well and grow this audience. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful day and we will see you next time.